Hi everyone, we're up to session number 18. So let's get on with it. Take yourself a seat. I'm hoping everyone is keeping themselves nice and warm as there are, uh, yeah, we've definitely had some cold days, but it is still winter, so you're not expected. That's okay. <laughs> Cross legs up. Let's get a bit of a good stretch. Um, yeah, if you get the chance and you can, um, yeah, get outside and, and keep yourself moving, rub yourself up there, it's always good to to keep moving versus not, and I guess that's what this exercise is all about as well. They're just priming you up and getting you all up and started on a Wednesday. Just fun, I'm hoping that people are still watching this on other days, so they definitely don't have to do it just on a Wednesday. All those other days there, it will still be online for everyone to watch. Switch over legs. Um, I've decided for today's session we're gonna add some dumbbell work into it. Um, still working on um, a little bit of stomping and some stability work, but adding um, yeah, dumbbells into it there, so if you have those dumbbells available, please use them. If not, then you've always got the opportunity to use just any household goods. Um, I know I'd done a, a program, but I don't think it was up for this particular group where I use milk cartons. So we have uh, one litre, um, uh, just yeah, one litre of long life milk <laughs> that we used. So just whipping that there, one litre, pretty much equivalent to one kilo. So after two days, I'm going to go for a box stretch. Um, and the other one I think I used, uh, if I remember it correctly, it was 400 gram um, can of chick peas. So two cans, one near the hand, um, and just using that as a bit of resistance. So if you don't have dumbbells, yeah, just get a little creative with it. Um, cool parts, if you're at home, no one's going to think, oh, why are you using those goods? It's great. Just use whatever you feel comfortable with. It's always good. So we don't have Maybe it was just on the phone. Um, well, maybe an hour or so ago there, and we're touching base with the people who are tending to and looking after our local uh, community garden from Gambray. So um, we're hoping, uh, if all goes well, that we can contribute and add to it there. And maybe had a great idea of, of organising some compost in there. So I'll keep you all posted with how that goes. Um, yeah, it sounds like the phone conversation went really well there, and a couple of different options. and. Uh, the council's given us a little bit of freedom to do some stuff there, so hopefully, um, yeah, could be a nice little fun avenue for us to have a play around with. So if anyone has any ideas on the research or the websites that you can let us go into, check out there, we can do all that. Um, and yeah, any information's appreciated. Uh, we're all still very new to the whole gardening sort of side of it there, so it's always fun to learn. And I'm sure many of you have got much, uh, much wisdom to teach. Good. Ah, oh, good to stretch up these heavies. Excellent. Switch over legs. Good. And hopefully everyone's feeling okay with the uh, obviously just uh, extra lockdown stuff that it's been over the last uh, what two weeks now? Yeah, two and a bit weeks uh, until everyone sort of sees this. Um, yeah, it's obviously a little bit tough, but um, yeah, hopefully you're all getting uh, through it okay there, and just keeping in contact with family members. I think that's all really important. Um, yeah, it just allows us to um, still connect in some times that uh, feeling disconnected can be quite easy. Um, so yeah, yeah, simple phone calls and all the technology of social media and stuff like that can be wonderful as well. We're really getting into these calves there. Um, funny story, I actually started making this video probably about four or five hours ago, but then realised that my phone had ran out of room. I was probably about uh, an hour, uh, sorry, an hour, about ten minutes into it. Uh, so just uh, deleted it, thought I'll just ready to do this again there. The point I was making in the previous video was just to get you to rock your foot side to side. I and mean, if you can see that, then my back foot, I'm just doing this ever so slightly. And it's just about getting underneath my feet warmed up. And now I'm just moving my foot around there. So if I just rock that side, have you guys uh, you can see that? Yep, there we go. And this is just rocking my foot side to side. So it's just coming from my foot. I can also just bend my toes a little bit there, really drive my knees down, so if I just rotate a slight angle there, you can just see I'm just driving my knees down, getting a really good stretch out from the back of my calf there, so just giving that a little good drive down. And again, you can just wiggle your foot around a little bit through there. And just sort of working out what's going on underneath your feet, just a nice little weight to extend up there. Sometimes I even like there, just, you just put a little bit of weight on your tongue, you just rotate your ankle around, you could also do that through this position next time, I always suggest for everyone something. Get a little bit of rotation. Just warming up that ankle structure, it's really nice. Uh, so after a half one, tail top please. Sitting in over the top, get a good little wiggle. Ah, 
was nice to stretch everything out. So, all right, after I take top. Good, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, I'm spoiling myself a little bit here. I've got myself some water and a cheeky coffee. But uh, recommendation, water for everyone. That's important. All right, let's get into this. So, <clears throat> oh, apologize. That walked right past the dumbbells. So that's what we want to start with. So we want to get some marching going. Make sure the chair's off to the side. Let's get some marching moving. Good. I always find it's all about getting those legs up nice and high. When legs are up, we work a little bit harder. Sure, we can keep it low, we can keep our hands low, but if we can get them up higher, we can get our arms up, I say go for it. And again, if you didn't have any dumbbells, use just your arms. If you're able to find some household items and use those too, go for it. No harm done there. Good to get, pardon me, good to get creative. Good. Three. Two, one, good. We want to lean just slightly forward. Good, pull the weight up. So it's a slight lean forward. Notice my knees are slightly bent. Pull the weight up there. Good, I could also make this a little bit harder by leaning a bit more over the top. This just becomes a modified bent over row there. You may find just keeping the weight close to your body will really help you out there. That's a little bit tough, it's okay. You can just stand upright and do an upright row there. So it's a little bit different. But if you feel comfortable, slide bend the legs, stick your bum back. Come join me for this one here. Good. Four. Three. Two. One more. Excellent. Take a seat on your chair. Excellent. Shoulder press is going to be our next one. So I actually want you leaning back in the chair. Sit as far back as you can. Lean back in the chair. Bring the weight up. Rotate it out. Press above your head. It's all about controlling it down, giving that a good press up. Cool, take your time as you go through it. Excellent team. That's what this is all about. Control, give it a good push. There we go. Good stuff. You could also make this a little bit tougher by alternating between it. Just changes it up a little bit. Good, again, if you did have any weights with you, I would really want to see some good speed in that movement there. So you take a little bit of strength away and you go a little bit more speed. You could also get a little creative and you can work a little bit side to side. But if you're working with the dumbbells, keep pressing above your head. And again, when we're up there, it's just that alternating one. Good. Three, two, one. Yes, oh yes, rotate the shoulders around. Working nice and high. Good video, some hammer grip curls. So this is what a hammer grip curl looks like. I'm going to show it on the angle there. And that's the reason why it's called a hammer grip is if you had a hammer and you're using it, then that would be the position you'd be holding it in. Okay, let me move on the side so you can see what I'm doing. And then we're going to transition with this exercise. Good, hammer grip curl. Notice I'm not using the backrest. I'm leaning just slightly upright, a little bit forward. This is me being perfectly upright. Just a slight upright and then slightly forward. Good, hammer grip curl. All right, three. Two, we've got this thing. One more. Good, and now I want you to bring it up and shoulder press it. And then all the way back down. Hammer curl it up, shoulder press it. Bring it all the way back down so we can incorporate two movements together. Oh yeah, a little bit tougher on those shoulders. Whew, forearms and bicep. We'll be feeling it in a bit, so they're in your arms. So forearms, front of the arm bicep, they're all going to be feeling it. Good, as well as your shoulders. All right. Five more reps, ten. We got this. Four, three, two, one more. Yes, all right. A little bit of a nice exercise. When I say nice, a little bit of a nice exercise in our shoulders to relax our shoulders and going through some forearm work. So letting my my forearm lay down on top of my thigh and then using my wrist to rotate. That dumbbell. You can increase it by letting it sort of roll down your fingers and then pull up. Again, I'm sure you know this there. Don't let it roll out out of your hands. Rolls out of your hands. Get your toe. No fun there. Control down. Pull up. That's what we're looking at doing there. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, get hit in the toe. No fun there. 
and no doubt if you're using like a milk carton or something that's a little bit trickier so please just work on bringing it up and down there three or four arms internal external go for a get some good rotation now i think i was saying in the previous video like i say that i, I did mine there and it didn't quite go through there because it ran out of our room and that was up i was talking about how i'd seen someone use a one kilo um or a one liter uh, milk carton and just noticing how well they were going through all the exercises and just sort of going, hmm, they're, not, they're finding that one kilo quite easy. And then at the end of the uh, program, they opened up the lid and put it upside down and realized that there was nothing in it. Right? They were just holding it with their fingers and just making it seem like it was a kilo. Uh, a little bit cheeky, but uh, definitely in this COVID time, people can get away with things like that. So it's a bit of fun. <laughs> Good, some ladder raises, bring it out to the side. Good, and what we're going to do is we're going to bring that to the side so we can get some brain coordination and get some stomping going. I'm flat foot hitting the floor. Good, the key is not trying to drive my feet super hard to the floor that I'm finding um, only pain on my feet. I just want to be getting a nice firm hit, but not so much that all I'm noticing is just under my feet. The whole goal of this exercise is shoulder loaded. We're just adding in another component here there. So thinking more about the shoulder than you are about striking the floor. Go on to that movement. Three, two, one more. Yes, pop it on top of your feet. Good, alternating leg lifts. Oh yeah, get those quads burning. Good, you get to take it as you go through here or take it as you feel comfortable. Lifting it up higher makes it harder. I can lift it up a little bit, makes it easier. If you didn't have dumbbells, I'm just gonna fly it off. Just getting some good leg lifts here. You could also make it a lot harder by not letting your feet touch the floor. So right now my feet are not touching the floor. This would be feet touching the floor with lifts. So it's just nice to know even if you didn't have the equipment that you could still play around with it there. This is making it a little bit harder by not having a chance to rest. Good, but if you do have those dumbbells, keep going. And uh, obviously, heavier it is, the harder it is. So it's good to just know those couple of variations that you can play with. Because that's what this is all about. Everyone's at very different levels. I want to be able to show you something that works for everyone. Okay, three, two, one. Yes, good. We're going to do an overhead tricep extension. I'm going to show this off the side. It's going to be much easier to show off to the side. So, upright, and I want you to scoot yourself all the way back in that chair. Lift it up, control it behind my head, pull it up the top. Control it behind my head. Extend up and bring it up nice and tall. Just notice where my shoulder to elbow position is. It doesn't come out the front, it stays from elbow to shoulder. And all I then do is from wrist to elbow, I extend up nice and tall. Good, the muscle here that's working the hardest is my tricep, and that's the back of the arm through here. Having to work nice and hard. Control down, pull up. Control down, pull up. We got this. Let's do five more. Four, three, oh yeah, it takes a bit of load. Two, it can be a bit uncomfortable. One more, but we fight through it. Ah, oh, geez, feels good to just relax that shoulder. Pop those dumbbells down. Good, we're gonna do a little bit of a balance exercise before we get our first rest. So, all we wanna do here, oh, child's a bit heavy. I'm gonna stay on my left foot here, so if we do it together, this will make it a lot easier. Left foot stays on the floor, left hand on top of the chair. My well, right leg, I want to do some circular movement. So we've done something similar, where we're getting that circular movement. Good, I'm going to show a slight little variation change to this too as well. The more I can keep myself upright is the key. Sure, I can lean, but now I've lost all this real good stability. The key is that I'm not putting so much weight on this left hand, but I'm trying to keep myself upright. Good, if you feel comfortable and want to try it without, you may want to just put your hands out to the side for a little bit of extra stability. Good, and you can also change the rotations. Now I'm opening up, this would be what I'd call closing. This is opening up, so you can alternate between those there. But trying to keep your body as upright as possible. Sometimes I lean over, it's natural to want to lean over, but it's about trying to challenge yourself and stay upright. You can hold on to the chair, do so. So jump sides, good, again, upright. Leg down to the side. Hold on to the chair if you need to. Good, reverse around the other way. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. 
Let's get to all the muscle groups around your hips, having the thigh up there can be quite tough. And then getting the keys that upright position. Right, a couple more, you've got this there. Three, two, one more. Good, and give it a go the other rotation, right? Okay, if we just do a couple the other rotation, haha, <laughs> I'm gonna think much more about it. So you can see, very much more unstable on her side that I'm very much more comfortable with. And this one, just that little bit harder. Oh, shake the legs out, grab yourself a drink, well done, team. It's not easy at all. And I'll talk a little bit about this subtle variation you can play with that. We can go through that one. Right, so the subtle variation. Oh, I got my hands all uh, very, very fatigued, yeah? That's great. Simple, but it does the trick, no doubt. And it's just, yeah, you don't notice it right through your glute max, but off either side of your hip, you'll probably notice that just having to fire up. It's that circular movement and kicking your legs out to the side. So what you do is you circle it, and you create a stop. And so you're actually creating a little bit of impact in with that rotation. Good, it changes it up, it becomes a little bit less stability, a little bit more hip strength and then impact, hip strength. Impact, obviously, what you're doing on one side. Could you hold on to the chair while doing it? Absolutely. So, just different variations. I'm always slight bending my knees as I'm striking that floor. You never ever strike um, stiff leg or locked out knee, as we call it. So it's always a slight bend, it means the tension's in our muscles. Obviously, the load runs up through the bones, that's all normal, that's exactly what builds up bone density. But the tension is in the muscles. One more. Pardon me, just good to know how to work with those. Alright, dumbbells. If you've got them, use them. Alright, we're going to start with running arms. Oh, there we go, running arms. Good, we're going to change this up by getting our legs working into it. Good, so what happens there is my left arm's out in front, my right leg is. Then I've changed that over. So it's good to start off slow. Once you've got that rhythm, try to keep your torso upright. Arms and legs. This one's a little tough, but that's good. We're here to make it a little bit challenging. You go at your pace. If you need to slow it down, that's cool. If you need to take the dumbbells out of your hand, that's all cool too. All right. Stay with me here, team. Have a good 30 seconds out. Good. Good. If you just want to spice it up and change it, we'll go into a bicep curl position. So I've just changed the weight that was previous in hammer curl. Now I've rotated to bicep curl. So good just to change it up. Ha <laughs> ha! 10 seconds, stay with me, team. Stay with me. Good forces, legs, arms, everything working, and rest. Ooh, drop them down, check them out. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I like a bit of head rotation, loosen the hips up, the shoulders. Aha, uh -huh. all lots of fun. All right, a couple of more exercises with the dumbbell. Um, so the next one I want to do is a one-arm row there. We can do it with both dumbbells or one dumbbell or no dumbbells. That's really important. Oop, just got to lose my head instead. Okay, so let's do it with one dumbbell. Good, so what you're going to do is hit the chair. You're going to put your... Um, I'm going to use my right hand for this exercise. So you can see the dumbbells in my right hand. My left knee on the chair and my right hand on the chair, so you can just see how I've, I've positioned myself. I just make sure that I've got a slight bend in my knees and my foot is flat on the floor. From here, I'm gonna pull this weight up behind me, control it down, so we call it a one-arm row. I'm basically doing a row exercise, which is a pull movement with just one dumbbell. Good, and I'm trying to stay very centered, so. So this is sitting over the top and being very centered. If I was not centered, I'd be leaning over to one side, or you may notice my hips are out of position, so I don't look like I'm very much facing you. Where here you can tell I'm facing you. It looks like my right hand and my right knee lines up. I uh, say my left hand, my left knee, and then my right hand and my right knee lines up. I'm creating this pull up face. Excellent, so this is a one arm row on one side, and then switch sides. So here I'll just change my angle my right knee, my right hand on top of the chair, my left leg on my heel, slight bend in that knee, my left hand pulls up there. 
The way I like to think about it, it's like I'm trying to elbow someone behind me. There's that idea of just pulling my elbow up to hit somebody behind me. And that movement works quite nicely for that one arm row. The other thing I'm not doing is I'm not twisting. This would be opening my chest to try to create this movement. I keep my torso still parallel to the floor. I'm just pulling up with my arms. Good, let's keep it going. It's called a one arm row. Three, two, one. Excellent. That's a little bit tough one, that one there. Good. So this one here is going to be a little bit different to as well. I think we've done it once or twice maybe. So it's a upright row position. So we just want to lean slightly forward as I come up. I pull the weight up there. So it sits underneath my chin area there. Control it down. Slightly lean forward. Squeeze my bum. Pull this up nice and tall. Control it down. So let's show it from the other side. Notice these movements are a little bit stronger, a little bit slower because they are exercises that involve a little bit more intensity, a lot more muscle groups and a little bit more strength base as well, especially if you're holding onto a dumbbell. So, by my side, lean forward, weight comes down, squeeze my bum, pull that up. Lean forward, squeeze my bum, pull that up there. The squeezing of your bum actually brings you upright. So from here to here, your glutes can do that movement. That's actually its prime movement from flexion to extension or start to work towards full extension, which would be me laying down on the floor. That is exactly what your bum can do there. So it's that thrusting, squeezing through your bum to pull yourself up. So that's why when I say squeeze your glute, you think of that squeezing your bum, pulling those arms up there. Good, I know you're still doing this, not just watching me demonstrate it. I should probably have a drink break while you guys keep going. <laughs> Three, two, one. Come join me for the next exercise. Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm a bit cheap here. I get away with it. <laughs> To our feet here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to lift one leg up and hold it. Three, two, one. Lower it down. Lift it up, hold. Three, two, one. Good. Let's keep giving that a bit of a go. What we're going to do is we're going to change this up a little bit very soon from both legs having weight on it to only one leg having weight on it. And the other leg is going to be doing a bit of a stop movement. So we're going to add this strengthening exercise of our clogged hips and our hip flexors in particular to then adding a bit of impact into it. Good, one more exercise. Do an awesome team. Well, this is a little tough. We've got this. All right, pop them aside. Uh, sorry, put one aside. So what I'm going to do is lift up my left. As I bring it down, try to stop with my right leg. Left up. Right stop, left up, right stop. I feel like we can make a dance move out of this. <laughs> Pretty sure there's a song that's got a little bit of a move left and stop probably in its lyrics, so that wouldn't surprise me. But left leg up, lower it down, right leg stop. Good, so it's just a way for us to work strength and then some impact. Switch over legs and change it up. Strength work, impact go. Half the challenge is keeping it where it's going to go. I think the challenge, the um, way I explained it on previous videos was that you sort of pull your toes up. Uh, yeah. Lift up. There we go. And what you might find is you might find that you want to start stomping with the leg um, that has the dumbbell on it. I actually just knew that before. And that just tells me that I was not paying attention. Because I'm still thinking about what song had the lyrics in it. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I know. I know. But you know what? Nothing's going to change for me. <laughs> yeah, you know what you're getting with me. All right, two to come. One more. Oh, wow. Wow, you're going to probably notice a little bit of load in those legs. That is all very normal. We're going to finish off with some squats. We're going to do it for a full 30 seconds. So come join me when you're ready, 10. All right, 30 seconds. Two, one. Let's go. So body weight squats if you feel comfortable. That is an option. Otherwise, chair squats. Bump in, so come up nice and tall. I want you to pick. You have enough to do it without the chair. Give it a go for me, please, Ken. It's all about you squeezing your glutes. Come up nice and tall. It's all about squeezing through glutes. You've got a team. Stick with me. Now, 15 seconds. You're going to finish it strong. Two. One more team. 
Yes! Well done! You would have noticed I was doing a little bit of a breathe in, so it's a breathe in as your bum comes down, breathe out as you come up nice and tall. So. And it's just to really work in line with the hardest phase of the exercise is pushing your bum up nice and high. It's actually easy coming down. Gravity will help you with it if you don't think about your full strain your bum. <laughs> but uh, it's much harder to propel yourself and push yourself out there. So that's the phase that you breathe out on. Good stuff, team. Grab yourself a quick drink. We're going to go through a cool down. All right. Aha. Onto the chair. Let's go for a good stretch. So we're really getting through these training sessions. We're going to hit number 20 very soon. Um, and I really hope that everyone's still enjoying these sessions. It's lovely um, jumping online and seeing a couple of people commenting every now and again. And, and, um, and like it, just it's uh, much appreciated that uh, people are watching it, even if you're not watching it uh, at the specific time that it's aired. I just hope that people do find little bits of um, you know, time slots throughout their day and just think, hey, I want to do a bit of exercise and maybe not too sure what I want to do. All right, without me having to think too much, I'll just click on the video and have Adrian sort of guide me through it there. So that's a really cool team for Trevor Leeds. Um, I'm happy to keep bringing this content and I've um, got a couple of ideas that I'll run past uh, the appropriate people and hopefully we can give you a little bit more content. Um, again, if there's things in particular that you feel you would like to see, please just ask for it. We'll see what we can do. I can't tell. Uh, I definitely can't promise anything, but I'll always give it, um, give it my best crack to be able to put some things in place for you. Excellent quad stretch for me. Oh, that's it. I'm going to sit up nice and tall, pull up on the leg. Uh, quads always feel nice when they get stretched out, especially with some of the impact work that we did. Uh, and that's a little bit why we're just working underneath your feet at the beginning can definitely help out. That's all good. And while we do a bit of a calf stretch at the end. Lovely. Switch over legs. Nice. Cool. Handsome stretch. You know, throughout your days, you might find little periods of time where you just feel like you want to do a bit of stretching. You may not be feeling like you want to actively go outside and walk or do a hard training session. Just doing some light stretching is always a winning situation. Um, I find the body just appreciates it so much, especially if it's a bit stiff. Um, and some of the greatest times of doing it uh, is, is, is after having like a warm shower. So or your body's a little bit more warmer, or you've just finished doing some physical activity, so you may have gone for a walk outside, and then you want to do a bit of stretching. All those things are really good. They definitely help out. They definitely help out. Switch over sides. Wiggling my hips around, just moving in place, a better picture there. So just moving and facing, so I sort of rotate out of the way, in a part of my thigh, and come forward and sit over the top thing, get a little bit more hand sweep. All that feels very, very nice to just get on top. Now, straight for me, team, coming to the end. Again, thank you for being here, thank you for taking the time to go through the training with us. Um, again, I enjoy creating the content, I just want to be able to create more and more things that people are really enjoying and wanting to do. I really feel like that's the uh, best way for us to keep moving forward. Just uh, switch legs and, you know, who knows, this could be a permanent platform that we sort of play on. Um, ideally, for all those who have seen us in my group classes, I would love to be face-to-face -face with you. But uh, I guess just at this stage, with what's going on, we, this is our option. So we're going to take the option that we have. And have a go. But uh, we will get back to the normal stuff. And uh, just like I do it now, so I hope that is sooner than later. And if we keep doing our bit, I guess we'll get there sooner. So that's always a good sign. Good team, thank you very much. As always, you're all superstars just getting on with your training. I appreciate you taking yourself for taking the time out of your day to do this training session. It allows me to keep doing what I love. So I've kneeled down so far now that I'm actually halfway through it. Yeah, maybe that's a bit better. <laughs> all right, see everyone. Bye-bye.